Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Matt, the creator of AirbnbUncovered.com and Airbnb Superhost. On this channel, I uncover some of the best kept hosting secrets, as well as share with you everything that I've ever learned after hosting over 3,000 guests. On today's video, I'll be answering a question I see all the time, which is how do Airbnb's fees work? Many of you are wondering how much money you'll actually make after Airbnb takes their cut. In this video, I'll show you exactly how much you can expect to earn and how to calculate it. We'll get into three main areas. The first is the fees every guest and host have to pay to Airbnb. The second one is the additional fees that you can add to your listing. And the last one is sales and hotel taxes. I post weekly videos all about the basics of Airbnb. You'll get the most out of my videos if you're new to hosting and are looking for strategies to ensure that you're earning five-star reviews, attracting the best guests, and earning above average nightly rates. I'm focused on creating a community of responsible and reliable hosts who will likely go on to become super hosts. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe so you won't miss out on my new videos. If you're enjoying my videos, please give them a thumbs up. Before we get started, I want to point out that I made this video in March of 2020. Airbnb is constantly changing their policies and the way they do things. So if you're watching this video a few years from now, this information may no longer be accurate. I'd assume I would update this video, but just in case, I want to make you aware of the time-sensitive nature of this video. So what fees does Airbnb charge both hosts and guests? Officially, they have one fee, and it's called a service fee. According to their website, they use this fee to maintain the platform and provide support to hosts and guests. It's basically their way of making money and covering the costs of operating the business. Airbnb charges the service fee to both the guest and the host, and they're separate items despite being called the same thing. Why they did that, I'm not sure. It can make things more confusing if you're just starting out. But let's start with the host side. Hosts are generally charged 3% of the total reservation. I say generally because there are some exceptions. In mainland China, hosts are charged 10%. Hosts with a super strict cancellation policy are charged a higher fee. And Airbnb does have some pilot programs going on where hosts are charged a different percentage or fee. But for all intents and purposes, there's a good chance you'll be charged the 3% because Airbnb normally discloses when the service fee will be more than 3% and that's not very often. Now let's get over to the guest side of the service fee, which can be as high as 20% of the total cost of the reservation. I say as much as 20% because Airbnb doesn't exactly disclose how they calculate the guest service fee. We do know it's on a sliding scale with the average being about 14.2%. The sliding scale is supposed to compensate for bookings with a high total cost. So after a certain amount, the guest service fee percentage will start to decrease. If you think about it, if you're booking accommodation for, let's say, three months, and the, the total cost would probably be pretty high. So if Airbnb adds 20% on top of your three month stay, it gets pretty expensive. And to be honest, Airbnb's involvement on a three month stay would likely be minimal after check-in. So to compensate for this, Airbnb lowers its fee as the totals increase over a certain amount. Again, we don't know what that certain amount is because Airbnb doesn't tell us. To be perfectly honest though, you don't need to be overly concerned about exactly how Airbnb calculates a, a guest's service fee because it's always calculated automatically and it's always shown to the guest. 
If you're asked about it, you can simply say that Airbnb determines the amount and they don't tell us exactly how it's calculated and that your guests can direct their question to Airbnb for more information since it's their fee and you have no control over it. But I think I've gotten that question maybe a handful of times over literally thousands of requests. But I'm just explaining it here so that you know how things work for a guest when they're considering booking with you and so that you have a total, an idea of the total amount your guests are paying. There are a few other fees that hosts can charge and I'll explain those in a minute. But I think the easiest way to explain this fee is with a simple example. Let's say that you have set your nightly rate at $100 and you get a booking for that rate. After Airbnb's service fees, you'll be paid $97, so $100 less 3%. Your guest will likely pay around $114.20 based on the average service fee of 14.2%. Airbnb will earn $17.2, which in this example is $3 from you and $14.20 from your guest. Things get a bit more complicated when you start to layer on the optional host fees. In your listing setup screens, you can add additional fees that you want to charge your guests. These fees include a cleaning fee, extra guest fee, resort fee, management fee, community fee, and a linen fee. The, extra, the cleaning fee and the extra guest fees are the most common. Let me briefly explain both. A cleaning fee, as the name implies, is a fee to clean your home for your guests. When you enable the cleaning fee, it is applied once to every reservation. Unfortunately, if you want to charge this fee more often, you have to do it manually through the Resolution Center, and this would apply if you offer daily or weekly cleaning. The cleaning fee doesn't have to exactly match what you pay to have your home cleaned, and you can still charge one if you do the cleaning yourself, like I do in many cases. The extra guest fee is simply that, a fee you charge for extra guests. You can set when the fee is triggered, so you can specify if you want to start charging your extra guest fee after the first, second, or whatever number of guests. The last four fees I mentioned, resort, management, community, and linen fees, they're all pretty rare. In fact, they're only available to hosts with six or more listings, so hosts like me. I'll just quickly go over them so that you're aware of them. They're all set up in the same way and it's either a percentage of the total booking cost or a fixed fee. So either something like 2% of the total cost or a flat fee of $50. To briefly explain each one, the resort and the community fees, they're roughly the same thing. They're a fee you can add if your listing is located in a place that charges for running a short-term rental. The management fee is a fee you can charge for running your Airbnb. And the last one, as the name implies, is a linen fee, and it's the cost of providing towels and linens to your guests. Like the rest of the optional fees, you can set these to whatever you'd like, and they don't necessarily have to exactly match what you're paying for them. When setting up your Airbnb, just be leery of how many fees you add. I can't imagine your guests will enjoy seeing six additional lines of extra fees added to the total cost of their reservation. Depending on where you live, you may also have the option to add sales tax and a hotel or tourist tax to your listing. If you can enable this option, it will be shown on your listing page. With the option enabled, Airbnb will add these taxes to the cost of the reservation, which means your nightly rate, as well as any additional fees, will receive tax. The Airbnb service fee is not taxed though. The amount of tax charged by the system will be separately listed in your transaction history. By separating the tax out in your transaction history, you can easily calculate how much you need to remit to the government. I say depending on where you live because Airbnb doesn't yet provide this option 
everywhere, and that's unfortunate. But if the option isn't available in your area, Airbnb offers you two ways to collect taxes, and it's either through a special offer or the Resolution Center. If you need to collect taxes manually, then you need to communicate this requirement and the exact amounts or percentage to your guests prior to them booking. You can do so by outlining these requirements in the house rules section of your listing. Please bear in mind it is against the Airbnb terms of service to add additional, not previously disclosed, cost to a reservation after it is started because that's just unfair to the guest. Pro tip here, if you have to collect taxes manually and you don't want the extra hassle of creating a special offer or using the resolution center for every booking, you can also just increase your prices by the tax amount and then calculate your taxes owing on the total that you've been paid out by Airbnb. To easily get the amount of sales tax you need to pay, multiply what you've been paid by Airbnb by the tax rate divided by one plus the tax rate. So let me give you an example here. If your tax rate is 10%, then you divide 10 by 110 and multiply that result by the amount that you've been paid out to get the amount of sales tax that you collected. If you are including the tax in your nightly rate and the extra charges, uh, remember to only report the pre-tax amount as income so that you don't pay income tax on the sales tax that you collected. To wrap up, let's go back to our example with numbers, which I think will do a nice job of summarizing how fees and taxes are calculated and paid on Airbnb. Remember we had a one night reservation for $100. Under that simple example, you as the host got $97 and the guest was charged $114.20. Now let's layer on the two most commonly used additional charges, an extra guest fee and a cleaning fee. Let's say you charge $50 for cleaning and $25 for extra guests. Your new total revenue from this reservation is now 100 plus 50 plus 25, which equals 175. Airbnb will take 3% of your earnings as their host service fee. And so instead of receiving 175, you'll get 169 and 75 cents. Your guests will pay 175 plus the 14.2% service fee, which will bring their total to 199.85. If we take this one step further and add sales tax, the only part that will change is the total the guest will pay. So the guest will see a subtotal of 175. Both the sales tax and the Airbnb guest service fee are calculated on this subtotal. Remember, sales tax doesn't apply to the guest service fee. If your sales tax rate is 10%, the sales tax is equal to $17.50. The Airbnb service fee will be the same as it was before, which was $24.85. And the new guest total is $217.35. Again, depending on where you live, Airbnb may end up paying you the sales tax amount collected and you will have to remit that to the tax authorities. Or they may remit it on your behalf, which is, I hope, the case for you because it makes things much easier. I hope this answers the question of what fees Airbnb charges. If it doesn't, please comment below with any additional questions you may have and I'll answer them for you. If you enjoyed this video, and I really hope you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, please don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I post a new video. I do post weekly. Thanks again for watching and bye for now.